Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing so, so well today. So I have a bit of a haul for you guys today. Uh, this week passed, so today is Sunday, but I'm filming this Thursday, was my birthday. And so I wanted to show you guys some of the fun and cool stuff that I got as gifts from my friends and family. And I thought that you guys would enjoy seeing it since a lot of stuff is obviously fandom related because that's pretty much my life at this point. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy seeing haul videos because I love doing them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new videos that will be showing up on your subscription feed every Monday and Thursday. So if you are ready, I'm ready. And let's get on into this video. All right, so for the first uh, things that I'm going to show you are from my parents. Um, they also were kind enough to pay for the nighttime safari that my mom and my aunt and I are going on when we are down in Walt Disney World. Um, the nighttime safari is at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is where we are staying. So they paid for that for me. And then they also got me a little gift. Um, my mom and I are both really big into knitting and crocheting. Um, really on a crochet kick right now, more so than knitting. But um, we've been kind of going back and forth with, you know, I'll buy my mom gifts, a uh, yarn gift or something to do with crocheting or knitting or whatever. Uh, so this time she bought me uh, two little gifts. So she bought uh, some Downton Abbey yarn for me, which I love. This is the Branson yarn in the color Vapor Gray. So I think I am going to try making a, <laughs> I can never say this, an amigurumi, I believe, amigurumi, the little cute little crochet dolls. So I think that that's what I'm going to make with this. Um, my mom has been trying to make a teddy bear for a couple weeks now. <laughs> um, so I think that that's what I'm going to do. But I, I found this adorable little elephant that I want to make. So I think that that's going to be my next project. She also got me a, another knitting slash crocheting related um, gift and it is these adorable little stitch markers which you're probably not going to be able to see but there's a bunch of them there's a cat there's a teacup uh there's another cat there's a happy birthday there's a heart there is this little like globe that has glitter inside they're so cute they are from a company called uh, What Mustard Made. The website is tracymustard.com. I will link to it down below, but these are just so cute. I love that with that package, she also sent over a tea bag. This is from the English Tea Shop and it is the Apple Rose Hip Raspberry Ripple. And it smells so good. And she also included a couple very, very cute little origami stars. Uh, that are made out of really shiny, fancy origami paper. So A++ for packaging. <laughs> so I am incredibly lucky that I happen to work with two of my absolute best friends, um, Samantha and Noelle. They are sisters and we work together at my job at the accounting firm that I work for. Uh, and they always do such sweet things for my birthday. We do a whole big Christmas exchange with the two of us and my boss. Uh, or the three of us, clearly I can't add <laughs> the three of us and my boss. And then we always try to do fun little things for each other's birthdays. So um, Noelle is an astounding baker and she made me delicious, delicious cupcakes. And Samantha made me these adorable little Mickey and Minnie Oreo um, decorated and chocolate dipped uh, little cookies. So those were fantastic. I somehow I'm still actually working my way through some of them. I by some miracle haven't eaten everything yet. Um, but Samantha actually got um, this adorable little sheet of stickers for me. They're Tsum Tsums dressed up in their Easter vest. They were all over my cart as well and they're just adorable. I love them. And then she also picked me up a gift card for Disney, um, the Disney store or Disney, it's Disney gift card. So I can use this at Walt Disney World, which is perfect. I will be bringing this along with me. And then Noelle got me this really awesome necklace stack that is themed around Loki, who I love so much. So the first necklace is this one and it is his helmet and it is gold and fantastic and I love it so much. The next 
necklace and the stack is his little staff. Um, it has the blue infinity stone in there, the tesseract, I guess. And then it has all these really beautiful blue jewels on the, um, the remainder of the chain. And then the final one is this necklace that has letters that spell out Neil on it. So, you know, you can wear it as a stack. You can wear one piece on its own. I love all of this. So this is from the Beehive on Etsy. I will link down to the shop below in case you are interested in picking this up for yourself. I would have to imagine that they also have a lot of other really cool fandom related stuff on there. So I'm sure you can find something if you would like to go peruse that shop yourself. So one thing that I absolutely adore about the internet is that you can find your twin in the most unexpected places. <laughs> Mine happens to live in California and her name is Ellie. We share the same birthday. We are a, a year apart, but we are pretty much the same person except her hair is far more fantastically pink than mine is and she is far more crafty than I am because she makes these adorable little monsters. Actually, let me go grab mine so I can show you what she makes. So Ellie is the shop owner of the Heebie Jeebie Monsters shop on Etsy and she makes the cutest iPad, iPhone, whatever your technological gadget of choice is. These are covers and they are inspired by the uh, Monster Book of Monsters from Harry Potter and they are so, so cute. So he guards my iPad mini, which truth be told I haven't opened in the <laughs> longest of times, but I love that he is uh, the one that's guarding it. I have him on display all the time um, and these are just so fantastic. She makes purses, she makes wallets. These are the best things to guard all of your uh, personal treasures. So I would definitely recommend checking her out and picking yourself up one of these because they are just so, so precious. I absolutely love them and this is actually how I found her. Uh, I saw someone talking about these on YouTube so I went over and got one for myself and then we just became really good friends. But like I said, we do share the same birthday so every year we've been exchanging little gifts here and there. and. Since she knows how much I love Marie, she got me this really cute little Marie Soom. But not only is she just a Soom, she is a little color changing light. And I just love her. I think she's so, so cute. Um, it's the perfect little addition to my ever-growing Marie collection. My aunt also sent me a couple things. One of the, <laughs> one of the things that I got from her is actually in the washer right now. I didn't even think to set it aside for this video. If I can find a picture of it, I will um, post it somewhere in here. It is a black t-shirt and the decal is so glittery and wonderful and I love it. So I will probably be wearing that at Walt Disney World so I can bring both of my favorite fandoms along with me when I'm down there. Um, and then she also sent me, it's always good when something comes in a Harry Potter box, right? She sent me this gorgeous dark mark necklace, uh, which hopefully you guys can see. It is silver, it has a black gem in the center of it. It is a 16 inch long necklace and it is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it so much. All right, so that just brings me to John. Uh, John is actually responsible for one of the big things that I hope is making a gigantic difference in this video. He got me a ring light, which I now feel like a very official YouTuber because I have a ring light for my video. It is from the brand Niwar and E-E-W-A-R and it is awesome and I love it. It has a dimmer so I can make it brighter or not so bright if I don't need to but it just makes my life so much easier so I don't have to keep on trying to maneuver around the room trying to catch the sunlight. Now I have perfect lighting for me every single time so that was a huge huge thing. Um, he also picked me up Speaking of my ever-growing Marie collection, this adorable Marie stuffed animal from the Disney store. She is so, so cute. She has her giant pink bow on her back and her fluffy, fluffy tail. She is currently hanging out with my giant Pua and my Sven and Olaf, who will be going away once winter stops trying to infringe on my springtime. Um, 
which hopefully will be soon. As much as I love seeing their smiling, adorable faces, I am just ready for this weather to go away. He also got me two of the animator Animators Collection Littles, which are the Disney blind little things um, in conjunction with the Animators Collection at the Disney Store. And I love these collections. I love anything from the Animators Collections. I think that they are just so cute. Um, so I did open them already, and I think that I got the Chaser, which I'm very excited about. But I got this little Raja, and he is gold and shiny and shimmery and so, so adorable. And then for the second one of these, I got Peter Pan. Now what's really fun about these is that you can stack them. They actually come with um, little brackets on the inside. So you can stack them using these brackets and then close them up and display all of the uh, little figurines inside these and they just look really really cool together. I don't have a lot of these but I've been trying really hard to collect some of them. He also got me a little pack of Sooms. Um, I already have Rapunzel but I do not have Toulouse and again love the Aristocat so much so I had to get these so I can have the Toulouse. Um, so I actually didn't open this so we can open it now and see who the mystery ones are. And it looks like I got a Sparkle E. She is so pretty and so sparkly. Oh, I love these sparkly ones. They do such a great job with the glitter. John also completed my Aladdin Funko collection with these guys. So Raja, I have not been able to really find anywhere. Um, and now I have him and I love him. And then Abu was even harder to find because obviously Hot Topic only carries the Hot Topic exclusive flocked Abu. I don't really like the flocked pops very much, so I didn't want that one. I just wanted the regular Abu and um, I was not able to find him anywhere. <laughs> it was so, so hard to try to find him, but I have him. So now I have the entire collection of the Aladdin pops with the exception of the chase which was Jafar I believe but he just glowed in the dark so I don't really care about that chase too much. He also picked up this Groot for me. This is from the Infinity War collection series whatever um, and it is Teenage Groot and he has like a little cell phone I think but one of the reasons why John picked it up for me outside of my love for Groot of course is that this is probably one of the last Toys R Us exclusive Funkos that we're going to be seeing since they are going to be going out of business and I would imagine that they won't be giving them any more exclusives anymore. <sighs> Sigh. And when one series is complete, another series has to start, right? So the next series that I will be looking to complete for my Disney collection has been started and it is the Hercules collection series, whatever. So the first one that I have is the Dorbs Rides, or no, Dorbs Pop Rides, um, and it is Hercules riding Pegasus, and I just love it so, so much. So um, if you haven't seen these pops yet, uh, for the whole series, we have Hercules, Meg, Phil, Hades, Baby Hercules, and Big baby Pegasus. Um, so I am so incredibly excited to get my hands on all of these. I can't wait to complete this collection. Hercules is definitely one of my favorite Disney movies. So I am so excited that they finally decided to make a Hercules line of Funko Pops. And that is everything for my birthday haul. I am so very, very grateful to everyone who has wished me a happy birthday online and who participated in making my big day very special. I guess it's not really that big. I'm definitely a birthday person though. Like my birthday is very, very important. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what your favorite thing from this haul was. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I love everything so very much. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Click those thumbs up. All of those things are so so helpful to my channel and I would really really appreciate it so very much. Uh, yeah, and thank you very much for hanging out with me for just a little bit today and I will see you 
in my next video. Bye guys.